Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kim and this channel deals with my love of yarn with my knitting and crochet adventures. Welcome if you are new or if you're returning. Today is something a little bit differently. I'm pretty excited about it. It's a new segment that I'm borrowing from Terry who is Yarn Joy Podcast. If you have not checked out her channel, I'm going to link it down below. She has this segment where she randomly draws these different little kits that she has that she's collected over the years and she finishes one every Friday and I watched one of those and I'm like I really need to incorporate this in my life because I have two bins of the very similar kind of kits some are knitted some are crochet and that is what we're doing today so I hope you stick around to see what I finish for finish it Friday So to kind of connect this to Terry Yarnjoy's podcast and kind of have this, I guess, un <laughs> unannounced collaboration with her, I don't think she's really, she said I could join in. So we're just going to roll with it. I'm not going to do what she does. So, so she, what she has is she has all these little books and kits and then she wrote like a, a word to describe each one and then she puts it in a bowl and she randomly draws and that's what she makes. And she doesn't really do it every Friday, but it's almost every Friday. And so what I'm going to do to kind of connect it and kind of share in this little fun thing is I am not going to draw from a bowl, but whatever she draws, I'm going to pick out something similar in my kits and make that. So that way, if you watch her channel, you can come see what I make and see what she makes. And it would just be kind of a fun little unofficial collaboration, unless she wants to make this official. And I'm down for that if you want to do that, Terry. But this week, or actually last Friday, she showed her item that she made, which I think was a waffle. And then she went ahead and drew for what she was working on this week. And then she showed it, her finished object in the video. And I will link that video to her channel down below as well. And so what she drew to make was something kawaii. Kawaii is actually a Japanese word that means cute or adorable. It's also a cultural phenomenon that emphasizes cuteness, charm, simplicity, and childlike innocence. And she made a sloth that she finished it for Finished It Friday this week. And what I did since she chose an animal... I went through my bins and I chose an animal as well. So the pattern that I chose is this little sheep. And this was actually gifted to me from Gina, who is a knitting turnpike. She sent me this one and then she sent me this cat on a branch, but I went ahead and chose the two little sheep. So it was a little kit here and it came with a little yarn to make the kit. So you have the white and you have the pink. It had some black and it had a little bit of brown and that was all that was with the kit and it makes two little sheep. So as far as what I have left, I did use all of the black and all of the brown. There wasn't very much brown at all. I wish there was more, and I'll show you why in a second. From what I have left, I do have this little bit of the pink and this little bit of the white. And then it did have this itty bitty little cute bag of stuffing. <laughs> Look how little and cute it is. Adorable. And there's a good bit of that left, so I can definitely use that on a future project. And I could probably make another sheep out of this, but I'm probably not going to because the pattern comes on this little piece of paper that's printed off. So you unfold it, and then it has all the stuff that you need to finish the thing and what it actually comes with. It has some notes here, it has the abbreviations, and then here it has the colors that the yarns come with and then you open this part up and it's the pattern so it has you make it on a us one which is a 2.25 but i did not want any of my stuffing to show through even though it's white yarn for the body so i knit mine on us zero which is a two millimeter and honestly when i knit socks even with fingering weight yarn i tend to use a us one but i often will find myself using a us zero i just knit more relaxed and this kind of helps it get the tension engaged that I need. So these are the collage needles. They are square needles. You can see right there. They have a decent little 
point on them. I love these little needles. I need to get some more DPNs like this. I actually really want to get some more Haya Haya Sharps in different smaller sizes because they're very similar to me as far as knitting even though they're not square. But I like the points better on a Haya Haya Sharp. They're a lot more pointier than these but these got the job done. And these are just some little six inch needles, DPNs. Let me show you my sheep. Be prepared for cuteness. I did go ahead and grab a quarter. And the reason I grabbed a quarter is to show you a size reference. So I have a normal US quarter here. And this is my sheep. So you can see it is not that much bigger than an actual quarter. And I made not one, but two little sheepies. <laughs> They're so adorable. One I did make a little bit bigger than the other one. And I'm thinking I'm going to put some string on them and hang them on my Christmas tree when I do a Christmas tree out here. Or I just may set them out and leave them somewhere cutesy because that would be cute as well. I did brush the yarn a little bit so it kind of has some halo to be the furry little sheep fur. But I mean, they're pretty adorable. They're pretty cute. This one's face got a little wonky. When I made this one, the first one, I followed the pattern exactly. And it actually has you start from the sheep's bum and then make the body all the way and then add on the pink for the face and then make the face. The problem is when you go to do your decreases and stuff, it's so tiny from the US zero that the stitches where you have your on your separate needles, you do kind of get a little bit of jo uh, ladders in those joined areas. And you can pull those tight, which is what I did. And it, it does make it a little bit harder also because that's where all the decreases are to do the point of the face. And it was really hard to kind of border on those little decreases in such a few row of stitches. So when I made the second one, I just reversed the order that I made everything. So I started with a face and instead of starting off with, I think it was like six or 12 stitches, I started off with less and then I increased as I got bigger to give that, that face shape, but not have all of the decreases right there. And just kind of have some increases and it did make it a lot easier to embroider the face on so going forward if i was to do this again i would definitely start at the face again and then i just added the little tail to add the little feet because one foot has brown and the other one's feet are black and that is because i ran out of the brown and so if i had more brown they would both have brown feet but I didn't have enough. So they one has brown feet and one has black feet. But I just think they are the most adorable little little guys. And they're so little compared to the quarter. The quarter is bigger than they are. But they were a lot of fun. So I had a lot of fun doing this week's Finish It Friday. Let's talk about next week's Finish It Friday pattern. I've already watched Terry's video, so you can check that out to see what she's going to be making. It is a dog. If you've seen my last community post, you know that this is very, very sentimental item for me because I did lose my Yorkie that has been part of my life for the past almost 17 years on Wednesday. He was 16 and a half years old and he... His health had declined rapidly over the past, I'd say, six, seven months. And our time had got to where I just needed to let him go because he was in pain. He could barely walk. And it was very, very hard to do. But before I got home, my husband had already dug him a grave out along one of the trails that I left to walk on on our property. And so I will get to go visit him whenever I want to. But... When I saw that she drew a dog, I did have a little bit of emotional thing. I don't want to make a Yorkie because that's what Bailey was. That would be, just be too hard, I think. But I did choose this kit that I had in my bins. And this is a little dog making kit. I think I got this from Sam's a couple of years ago. But the kit has yarn to make two different dogs. And one of them is a Labrador and one of them is a Chihuahua. So I thought what I would do 
is I would put up a community poll and let y'all vote on it. So this video will be coming out today, which is Friday, and then the poll will go up immediately afterwards, and you have until Sunday, say 8 p.m. to vote. And depending on which one gets the highest amount of votes, that's what I will be working on next week to show you for Finish It Friday. So you can vote on the Labrador or the Chihuahua. I hope you head over and vote on that. I will link that poll down below as well and help me determine which dog to make. It's probably going to be still a sentimental week to do this, but I think that that would be good for me and I look forward to creating it and sharing with you next week. And the next video will be coming out probably Sunday or Monday. It's kind of wrapping up of August and I cannot wait to show you what I've been crocheting. So until then, I will see you. Have a lovely, yarny evening.